Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the next part of this Let's Play. Uh, this is my second attempt at this video today. I actually got the other one through pretty successfully, but since I took apart this computer earlier, uh, the uh, microphone and everything wasn't set up very well, and there were a lot of really bad audio spikes. So now I'm doing it again, and I'll go over what happened today while I do this stage. Uh, we're doing the forest stage, which can be pretty tough. I was doing terrible at this stage yesterday, and I got real angry and frustrated while doing it, and I gave up. But I was also really exhausted, because yesterday I spent all day backing up files, and I took my computer apart. You know, I had to get it ready to bring down a Best Buy earlier today, and that didn't go well. Uh, this, it's a tax-free weekend here, and a lot of people were taking advantage of it, as they, you know, you should. And, uh, oh, damn it. Uh, because of that, uh, they weren't taking in any repair orders. And that was not good. I had to take this all the way back home. And... I can't have anything done until at least tomorrow, which isn't too bad, but the fact is I have to work tomorrow. So I don't know, I mean, I won't be able to get down there till 6 o'clock, probably tomorrow night. I don't know if they're going to take it that late in the evening. Uh, so here's hoping that works out. Now, back to the game. This stage is kind of tough. You have to get rid of all these trees on the ground if you want to shoot the turrets or anything that usually hang around down there. Uh, Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. I really had to save because this is an annoying part. This fortress boss is tough. The mini turrets aren't bad, but it gets hard in a second, and uh, you will see why. Oh, oh. That up there. Oh. Oh. Gotta keep shooting, gotta keep shooting, gotta keep shooting. Come on, almost, 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 almost. Yes. Oh, shoot. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Good. There's a health refill if I can make it without dying. Whoa. Easier said than done, trust me. Yes! Oh! Oh, that was pure luck. Saving it because I don't want to have to do that part again. Man, this video is going to be so edited. I should have just kept the first version. It worked a lot better. Even if the sound sucked, I still beat it without having to do this over and over again. Get it with the Mega Crush! Ooh, good. I got one of those big turrets out of the way. Oh, shit. I forgot about those. I don't think I can blow those hatches off. Uh, that's not good. One more hit and I'm dead again. I'm smoking and everything. Whoa, it almost killed me. Alright, the moment of truth. Oh, it's de uh, done. Woo! Alright. Hey guys. Uh... I had to uh, edit that other one because I had screwed up so many times. It had gone well over uh, <laughs> 10 minutes. So now that it's shortened down about four and a half, I'm going to stick a second video in here because I wanted to do two stages anyway. And now we're going to do the desert stage, which is significantly easier. The boss isn't much easier, but the stage sure is. 
no trees to get in the way or anything like that. Music is good in this stage. Music was good in the last stage too. This game has good music all around, I'd say. We'll get that. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Those helicopters, the big ones, are a problem in this stage. And there's some nasty ground turrets. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the other half of this video, which I wanted to, is uh, a question was asked about the guy with uh, the scar on his head, the X. And I didn't know if it was there for a reason, so I went and looked it up. And it turns out this scheme is actually based on a manga or a manga, however you like to pronounce it. And uh, it's called Area 88. And the guy's name is Saki uh, Vashtal. It's a self-inflicted scar. And also this game has an... Ooh, saving. This game has an arcade counterpart. And this is actually... You know, it's the same game, but it's very different. Ooh. This is very different from the arcade version. And... Uh, I'd explain why, but this boss kind of has me a little occupied right now. Uh, you should go look it up on Wikipedia or something. I've never actually played the arcade game before. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to mention, the only reason I was starting to mention the thing about Stuttering Craig and uh, ScrewAttack.com uh, actually, that's how I found out this game even existed. Up until I heard about it on that website, uh, I had no idea that this game was out there. Um, but also, I, you know, I didn't have a Super Nintendo until I, uh, my last year of high school, which was about six years ago. Eh, keep that in there. Uh, so I'm not done talking about that. Um, so yeah, this... I don't have a very large library of games for my Super Nintendo. I've recently started purchasing some on uh, eBay, which is always nice. Gotta stay low here, but I want to blow up this thing. There we go. If you stay low enough, that gun won't point upward. It's just trying to stay between these missiles. It's a problem. Launch this. Do some big damage. Um, also, you notice I kind of smack my lips a lot when I talk during these things. I don't normally do that. Oh, shh. Butt fudge. All right. Last time. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Take that. Good, I got that down. I'm sure you'll see both of my failed attempts at this. Because I'm sick of editing for today. Alright. Thank God for safe states. Plus, I was talking about important stuff. I mean, seriously. So. If I can launch this at the right time. Yes! He is... Well, I guess he's not dead, but whoever was piloting this thing sure is. Ugh. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, we killed people. Alright. Okay, uh, all you subscribers and subscriberettes. I will see you in the next video. Uh, I really want this computer fixed. Yeah, the end.